Hello and welcome you listen to the African Update. My name is Kindama and I'm host of this program here. Today I'll give you a story coming from all the way uh, on the horn of Africa. We are talking about Somalia. As you may know, Somalia is a country right now we've got uh, almost no government, if may I say. There is a government there, but it's really difficult to control the government uh, or the, the country. As you know, that uh, some there is a group of Somali that um, are claiming kind of independence because uh, they they say it does not belong to Somaliland and some of them from Somali is just kind of confusing what's going on in um, in, in 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 Somalia but uh, Somali troop and deadly siege at the elite hotel this is exactly what is happening in New Somalia is um, uh, it was a hostage in one of the um, the elite hotel at least 12 people were killed at the uh, beachside elite hotel in addition to five mentioned according to the police the attacker detonated a car bomb outside the hotel on sunday before storming it and they say hostages the recent build hotel in is owned by mp and is a popular with officials so this is a member of parliament, I think, MP, it could be, uh, who built this hotel and then it was used by officials. So it's kind of a really el elite hotel where most expensive, most important people in the country were using that hotel. And according to uh, source, this is a very uh, secure hotel, but still they managed to come in the hotel and detonate the car bomb um as well as um keep hostage some of uh, the people witnesses say the incident the blast was heard across mogadishu the capital city of uh, uh, somalia and there was a chaos as people fled the area security forces sealed off the hotel and exchanged fire with the gun the gunmen inside four hours later government spokesman ismail Mukata Omar tweeted that the siege was over and all the gunmen had been killed. Man, that is a big problem. People just kill, kill, kill all the time. I don't know exactly when we'll be able to stay a period where people not being killed just because they've been they need to be killed, you know? That is really really sad about this and especially what's going on in, in Somalia right now is really 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 sad. A senior official from the Information Ministry and another official from the Defense Ministry are reported to be among the dead. Along with three um, hotel guards, dozen more people were reported to be wounded. More than 200 people were rescued from the hotel, according to the government spokesman. Uh, I mean, this in this moment is really difficult to be at a hotel place like that. You know, and special visiting as a tourist is, I think, it's very difficult to have a, a tour to do tourism in, in, in Somalia where there is always Al Shabaab claiming this kind of, um, of attacks where um, they just use a, a car bomb and they go and they blast. If it's not the hotel, it's a restaurant. If it's not the restaurant, it's very important place where you find many um tourists or many important people in the country so this is exactly what is happening the same in uh, uh, mozambique because um as you know that in mozambique they've got many uh somalis there and probably that's the people that are uh, supporting um this group in in mozambique but anyway so that's exactly what's going on in uh, Somalia right now. Uh, this uh, huge blast that took place in one of the biggest or very important hotel in Mogadishu and uh, ended up killing all these uh, 12 people, inclu including one of members of the Ministry of, of Information. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much for listening. We keep on uh, give you the best information about African content. So stay tuned and uh, remember to uh, subscribe. Cheers, buddy.